what's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft, and I've done nothing since last episode, you want to know why? Oh, that's because someone named Parsnip King commented on the last episode saying that I do way too much stuff off camera, well between episodes I mean, um, so I did absolutely nothing, uh, and yeah, let's, let's start off with the harvest here. Um, going to get a bunch of lag, so many entities. Um, I am still using my camera for the voice recording thing. Um, it's working out pretty good actually. Um, I, I turned up the mic volume a little bit. Um, hopefully there won't be any background noise with that. I only turned it up by about 10%. Uh, because I noticed last episode it there wasn't too big of a difference. but. Basically, it helps to have it this way. Um, like so. Yeah. And I'll just quickly replant, and then I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so, let's choose what we're doing this episode, shall we? Um, this will be filled by, I don't know what it's going to be filled by. I said I can't do this. I don't have the resources. Oh, I got filled out by the blaze farm. I can do the blaze farm. Just give me something I can do. Okay, blaze farm it is. Um, I need the blaze farm for the potions for the potion room actually. Uh, the brewing system because brewing now needs blaze powder, and yeah. So that's why. I am going to build the blaze farm. Now I'm going. I have found a fortress quite a bit closer to uh, everything, really. Um, so I'm just going to get all the resources and stuff I need, and then we'll get cracking. All right. So um, my nether hub is right there, and the nether fortress is off in that direction. And here's my stuff, a bunch of sticky pistons, some um, stone, I'm going to get rid of that, nether brick, redstone, and a bunch of fire resist potions, because I'm working with um, blazes and I don't want to die. Um, I might have to go in a minute, so if, I, if this clip ends abruptly, then that's why. Um, why do I have nether brick on me? Uh, now where is it? I think it's in this direction. I've only been here once and I probably didn't even loot the whole place. Um, but I'm not really in the mood for exploring today. I just want to get some stuff together and build. That's all I really want today. Um, ah, the render distance in there is so bad. Oh, there's, look at that, there's an enderman. And there's a ghast somewhere. Okay, um... I absolutely hate ghasts. Oh, he's right there. Yeah. First hit. Somewhere here it was. Might be off in that direction, actually. Oh yeah, there it is. Two endermen. No, it's just one. Looked like two for a second. Um, the nether music I, th I think suits the nether dimension, it's kind of like a bit more on the base side, um, I really can't see a thing, ooh, I'm about to crash, I'm about to crash, okay I don't know what happened there, like sometimes I just found that music crash like that and I got sent back in time, so I have to go over here again, um... Is another music going to start out now? No. Okay. Oh, it did, but it's just a different song. Uh, somewhere over here, um... How's my memory doing? Not good. 
I don't want to see it go over 70% ever. Uh, 50% is fine, 70% is bad. I might, I might have crashed because I ran out of memory. I think it was somewhere here. I don't remember. It was a long time ago that I went here. About a month. Oh, come on, there's another ghast. Well, we know that this is a new area because there's magma blocks here. Um, I might take some of those actually. On my way back, the ghost is right there. Um, oh, here it is. Uh, now, how do I get there? Where's the ghost? Oh, there he is. Oh, I have to be really careful if I hit a pigman. Then that's not going to be good. I am blind. I can't see. Oh, really? It's this way. Okay. Um, I'll have a fire with this potion now. Because why not? And then I'll just swim through the lava. Last time I fell in the lava, but I had fire resistance. So that was lucky. Um... So I'll just find a nice place spawner somewhere here and then we'll start building. So I've run around a little bit and it looks like this is the only place spawner that is here now. Them guys. Um, I pretty much I used up two of my potions already and that kinda sucks, but that means that will have to be quick so that will kind of motivate me to be a bit quicker in building this and yeah nothing there um that place spawn isn't in the best position ever um ideally it would have been a little bit more in the wall or something like completely in the wall kind of but i can work with this so what i'll do first is i'm going to oh damn Yep, this is going to be tough to do. Um, especially with these guys spawning me. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hollow out the floor. Um, how many blocks? I think it was... Oof, I don't remember how many blocks it is. I think it's a bit like this. Um, need to make it three high. Ready is good. Or is it four high? I can't tell. Uh, there we go. After I kill this guy. Um, yeah, that's tall enough. Um, need to get rid of these things. Fences. I bought ten chests with me, so there should be enough storage here for a little while. Um, and hopefully, I don't die whilst making this, because I've got a lot of good stuff on me. Oh great, three. Uh. Oh, that needs four. Well, these guys aren't the ones. What? Why are they just spawning? Oh, because I took away the one. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm big. Uh. Check this out guys, right here is a blaze spawner, right? And over there is supposed to be a blaze spawner, but I think I mined it. But, <laughs> so, well, that's pretty cool actually. Um, oh come on! Well, I did get knocked off, eventually. Um, I hate these guys so much. Come on, where's that little guy? Right. Um, I'm pretty sure there's blades are spawning back there. Um, because there's a lot of fire. Um, so there might still be a spawner there. I'm not sure it might just be covered up by the poison. Okay, so I've done a little bit more work here. Um, I've got a funnel now. So the blades spawn up there and they get funneled down here. Um, see if I can get up on this block. Yep. 
Um, in the corner block, it just pushes you that way and then onto this brush plate, so you fall off anyway. Um, very close to being done now. Um, how many blocks? And I'll go one more. Okay. So over here will then be the room. The main room where you do all the magic stuff, killing the blaze. And I'll have some kind of way up and down. I'll actually... There's going to be a way to get into it, like an entrance. But I'm going to set up a minecart track to go to here. Probably off camera. And I don't care what you guys think of me doing things off camera. It's a lot easier to do them off camera, actually. Like, much easier. And... Yeah, I'm doing this like this actually because and if a blaze because then blaze can't fight and basically and I can just hit them like that. Yep, they're spawning now. Look how quick that was. Um if they are not tracking me, so if they don't see me, then that's good. And um if that happens then basically they go down without a problem because then they don't fly up or anything. Um, I actually did this funnel a lot quicker than I thought I would. Um, and actually I've got so many blaze rods, like I already threw a stack away. I, I, I have so much now just from building this. Um, so I will want to make this room a lot bigger. Um, and then I need to figure out where the home bases so I can set up minecart track there eventually um, oh so we're a little bit low on space apparently and I'd like to make this room out of something that isn't nether brick because it's just way too dark I, I could barely see me myself building um, I'll look this way and then it will be a 5x5. Five five. So I have to make some make this go up maybe. I don't know. Um no more blazer spawning. That's good and bad. Well once I remove the torches then then they'll be spawning like crazy. Okay, so, oh, I don't think chest can burn, um, I'll have them like this actually, makes it a lot easier that way, um, this isn't the only blaze farm I'm going to make, I'd like to make another one, uh, an automatic one, um, well, pretty much automatic. Uh, the killing won't be automatic, but it will be pretty cool actually. Um, now, how do I want this to be? Do I want to make this longer? Probably, I, I probably do. Um, have a normal crafting and furnace situation here. Oh, an enchanting station, yes. I need to put one somewhere there. Do I have any? Nope. The fire sounds are so annoying. Um, yeah, I'll just do a little bit of work here because I don't know what to do right now. So I'll just do a little bit of work here and then we'll see what else happens. Holy crap! There's... <coughs> He was right here. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Oh, damn. He nearly saw me. That was close. So, what I'm planning to do is over here have a much bigger storage room because I'm going to need a lot of storage, and over here have an enchanting room, and over here have a minecart station. Oh, that's a lot of words. Um, and then, I don't know of a way up. Like, I need to have two different types of entr entrances, one, a minecart entrance and um, a normal entrance because if, I like, if I'm like lost in the nether and I've 
stumble across this, and I would like to get in without having to break in, so... I'll just get back to work, shall I? Um, it had just occurred to me that I might be um, out of loading distance of that spawner. I'm like, just, just out of loading distance. Um, like, if I, if I was like, up, up here, then it's loading, but it might not load here, and if so, then I might have to make an AFK room up there. Oh, I hate work. It has been confirmed the spawn is too far up, so I will have to make an AFK room up there. Um, and I kind of already prepared for that, like when I started building, I have, I like left a little bit of room for a window there. So it, it might turn out okay, I just need to guess a bunch more blocks now. Okay guys, um, I have to be really quiet because everyone is sleeping. Um, but me, and if I wake up my little stepsister, then I have to put her back to sleep. You know the drill, I explained this to you in the first episode of this series. And my memory up here in the right corner is going absolutely crazy, going up to 99%, giving me massive lag spikes. And there's over 7,000 particles, nearly 90 blaze in there. I have no idea what this C means. But, uh, yeah, um, I worked on this some more off camera, um, I'm just gonna press this button that, uh, sprays a poison potion, um, and they will all go down to half a heart, so yeah, it's a one hit kill. And then you could just throw a splash potion, which is what I'm going to do. And if you have a looting sword, quickly switch to the looting sword, because then you get more loot, it's like you've just killed them all. Um, and you can't just hit, just slash with your sword, it doesn't work like that actually. Um, it doesn't hit all the entities there. And, oh, let's do this fast. This is going to lag like a lot. Okay, that's a lot better though. Um, two and a half stacks of blaze rods. That's a lot. I usually go up to 100 blaze every time, but I couldn't wait any longer and Minecraft was really starting to lag. But anyway, um, got the enchantment ta table here now. Um, some stuff here potions, blaze rods. Dispensers, um, 45 seconds splashes with power 1 do the trick actually. Um, and over here, a little AFK room. Here, you can go to the outside world. And over here, there's going to be a minecart track here going off in that direction. Um, so, yeah. From level 42 I jumped to level 46, so that's pretty cool. You you need a lot of levels for for this. And uh Oh great, they're starting to fill in again. I'll just take a bunch of these blaze rods and then I will try to get back home if possible. Um I don't know the way now. I'm kinda lost. So I'll see, I think I'll see you there. Um, I've got a little bit of a pattern in the ceiling. If you look at it from here, then it looks quite cool. But if you look at it from here, there's just a line. It's kind of boring. Um, I think if you look at it from here, yeah, it looks okay. Uh, because I don't have a minecart track set up, I'll have to take the outside world. And I don't like it. I don't like it already. Die. I hate please now. Oh, there's a place somewhere. Great. Okay. Drink this real quick. And I will see you guys 
in the AI world. <laughs> look at this guy, look at this guy, guys. I told you there's porn everywhere. Uh, of course, nothing interesting. Um, I made a little bit of a mistake. I thought my base was going uh, in the north direction, but it's actually going in the southwest direction, so... The minecart track is going to have to curve around a little. Uh, actually, yeah, that's fine. I've just been playing around with mods, and I cannot handle them at all. Um, looks like. There's one mod pack I can handle on the FTB. Um, crash landing. Uh, but I I just can't stay alive for, a long, for more than 15 days. I, I start going thirsty and I d can't get dirt fast enough to convert it into dirty water so I just end up dying and the shell constructor I would have probably already died by then so yeah that's the story um, but I might make a series out of crash landing because it's kind of fun um, I enjoyed watching other people play it. Um, I, I just need to practice on it, basically, is all I need. Um, oh, I thought that was like a, a stone... Oh, I'm about to crash again, damn it! Oh, whoa, whoa wait, no. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I, so I got sent back in time again, and sorry about the music, um... Damn it, um... Am I going to get a copyright strike? This dude, please don't strike me. Please. Please, please, please. Um... My record button is F9, and that's also the play and pause button, and I open in iTunes, and I know... Whilst I, must, whilst I was printing, I must have been accidentally pressing FN, so... It's activated it. The song, by the way, is Inside the Fire, which is my favourite. Um, and so we're back here, and you might be wondering how I can tell when I'm about to crash. Um, you can't, you guys can't see it, but I can. The screen kind of like, you no, know, when I uh, know. Um, so around the edges of the of the screen, yeah. It kind of gets darker a little bit, yeah. So if I press F1, it goes all bright, yeah. Can you see the difference in the corners, especially? Um, basically, that closes in, so I can only see a tiny bit, and some of the images stay where they were. So it's like on the on our school computers, where you can drag on drag that thing which says loading applications or some random stuff like that. Um, and then it like leaves a copy of it. That basically what happens to my screen when I look around. So yeah, I don't think you guys can tell. Uh, once I I had it happen before, and you guys wouldn't have been able to tell. So yeah. Um, I need to check the time, and it is that good time again, where we have to end the episode. So, let's just do this quickly. That was only six pieces and it did quite a bit. Well, it opened this up a bit more, so looks good. Um, sorry for doing absolutely nothing but the blaze farm in this episode. But I would have done more if I hadn't had a comment saying that I do way too much stuff off camera. So. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.